Well, imagine having all the information you need to fly your airplane right in front of your eyes all the time. Trying to find that airport? Well, look straight down. You can see through the bottom of your airplane, and there it is. This is super situational awareness, and it's yours for about a half a million bucks. You do have to be wearing a uniform and driving an F-35 these days, but this could be in general aviation's future. This is the most expensive weapon system in U.S. history. It's seven years behind schedule and more than $160 billion over budget, but boy, what an airplane. It includes the most expensive helmet of all time. Custom fitted to each pilot, costs a quarter million dollars, plus another quarter million for the computer that drives the helmet-mounted display system, or HMD, as Lockheed Martin likes to call it. I recently had a chance to fly HMD and F-35 demonstration simulators. The system is 360 degrees, creating that sphere of protection uh, around you. Six infrared cameras feed a 360-degree view to the helmet. Turn your head and look wherever you want. The computer figures out what view to project in front of your eyes. Makes for tremendous situational awareness. All those are tools that enable the pilot to truly understand what his situational awareness is. We always talked about as older aviators in the military about SA, and you had to interpret what your SA was through steam gauges and individual sensors, a radar or a targeting flare, and then piece those together in your mind. Now, as you've seen from flying the F-35, you can look down, you get the God's eye picture, you know exactly what the targets are out there. Now, Tom, you know, for general aviation, something that might happen down the road when you think of uh, Google with their smart goggles, yeah. you know, glasses, yeah. you know, you could think of a, almost a poor man's version of that helmet with those Google glasses yeah. slaved into the synthetic vision that you have, you know, already in the general aviation world and also, you know, the Garmin 1000s and things like that. But the fun part was flying the F-35 simulator. It was almost like a big video game. The throttle on, the, uh, on this side, the control stick, there's a total of 22 buttons. I flew some combat missions. Now we've got our weapons selected. I took out a control tower. And boy, was it a lot of fun and uh, what an amazing airplane. Thanks to Lockheed Martin for inviting us to their fighter demonstration center just around the corner from the Pentagon. Every Thursday, we're working to get you answers. The most experienced reporters in general aviation. Bring you more details as they develop. The stories that affect you. We talk with our own safety expert. Every Thursday, AOPA Live, this week.